<laughs> but you can say people of color. It's the same words, just twisted around. Dude, I had a. Um, it's messed up. It's like, it's you can just be like labeled a racist or a sexist or whatever for like, like saying like the. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's wild. Um, I had a 23andMe DNA test done. Mm-hmm. And, How cool uh, are those? They're pretty good. Yeah. And I was hoping. I was if I was more than ten percent black, I was going to start dropping n bombs. <laughs> but uh, one point six, so one point six. I'm one point six percent African, pretty strong. It's all dick. And uh, <laughs> I, I, well, when they did that thing about Elizabeth Warren, oh, I did find out what percentage she is. Uh, Elizabeth Warren, who claimed to be Native American, mm. and she did a, a test. She's like one, one one hundredth. Of what I am, like it's literally like her saying serious? she's yeah her saying she's an, a Native American is literally like me saying I'm African American, <laughs> but I have more that. of a claim. I, I have m- far more, like more than I think some some insane b- b- number t- like t- b- factor of more African in me than she has Native American. And I'm not even remotely Native American, I'm, or n- remotely African, rather. Yeah. I'm 1.6%. I have 1.6% African in me. And she has, like, w- some fucking really stupid number. What is the number? Yeah, the, the, it's like point the world's zero, gone zero, wild zero, these days, one. dude. I don't even know how to make sense of all that stuff. She had the, what, was, what happened was a Harvard like uh, researcher looked into it right. and gave a number that was very vague that would be like one and... 512th to 1 and 1024th. <laughs> Something like that. That sucks, dude. It's so crazy. It sucks. It Meanwhile, sucks that that's the thing. Like, we're got, all something. Like, who gives a shit? But she got into Harvard because of this, where she claimed she was Native American. I mean, she got in that's by claiming crazy. that she was a minority. Mm-hmm. It was Harvard, right? Correct? Uh, I'm being honest about that? Or was it Cambridge? Whatever the university she some, got in. Some, some she Ivy got in the university by claiming that she was Native American, so she got a special scholarship because of that. Oh, man. It's literally like me going to Morehouse and saying I'm African American, except I have a far better claim. You have a much higher percentage. Much higher. <laughs> That's so crazy. That's wild. Meanwhile, she's so nuts, like, because Trump was always calling her Pocahontas. And Trump said <laughs> that if she, <laughs> how wow is it that you can't? If you said the wrong thing on your podcast, people will be up in arms. But for some reason, the president can say whatever the hell he wants to say. Well, he's Most making fun of her ever. pretending to be a Native American. Yeah, he was joking about her. She's not really Native American. Yeah. And he called her Pocahontas. And he said if she took a DNA test and showed that she was Native American, he would donate a million dollars to a, ca- a charity of her choice. So she, after this fucking test that basically mm. showed she has the smallest measurable possibility yeah. of Native American in her was requiring him to pay a oh million dollars. <laughs> like, you, no, you should pay Harvard for what you Some fucking the money back. built from yeah. them. What, where at school did she go to? I'm trying to find the actual thing. It seems, I think she actually got a job at Harvard, not um, didn't go there for education. Oh, she got a job there because of. Okay. Trying to find out. Okay, he'll figure it out. But that's hilarious. But I, the I, the idea that that is something you can lean on is so goddamn crazy. Listen, you're a white lady. I'm a white guy. Shut the fuck up. Okay, you're not. There's no. There's not a part of you that has been discriminated against because yeah. of the fact that you're Native American. It just doesn't exist. It's not true. That's just, also fascinating to me. Oh, people love to be a victim. They love to say, yeah. you know, uh, it was my life growing up was hard because I'm one 150,000th Native American. That's crazy, <laughs> dude. It's crazy. And where does it stop? Like, is it, is it, is it, you know, like, is it cool to say that if you're 2% or 10% or 50%? Like, where's it? Where is it? That's what I'm saying. At 1.6%, I really don't feel like I could drop N bombs. Right. Yeah, no, it's not cool. 10, it's not cool. 10%. Like, I'm mostly Italian. I'm, like, three-quarters Italian, so I can call someone a guinea. Like, guinea. No problem. Yeah. But k- Italians don't give a fuck if you call them guineas. Yeah. They're like, okay. Like, Move there's, on. There's no really, yeah. there's no good slurs for Italians that yeah. work, you know? They've successfully integrated into society. But when my grandfather used to tell me about, he came over here when he was a boy from Italy, and he would tell me about how bad it was, about how much they were discriminated against. Yeah. You know, it was, it was it was hardcore. I mean, they were 
treated a lot of the same way racist people treat Mexicans today. And they, Irish, same yep, thing. Same thing. Yeah. Yeah. And that's my background is Italian and Irish mostly. Yeah. But someone got fucked by a black person somewhere. <laughs> Somewhere, 1.6%. I don't know how many generations. They're, they're, I guess the claim is that she used her claim that she's Native American to get a job. Yes. Not not to get not into to school. Not to go into school? Oh, okay. To get a job. At Harvard. At One at Harvard, one at Pennsylvania. So she did it twice. Give that money back, bitch. Dude, I love the DNA <laughs> test, though. <laughs> I love the DNA test. Because yeah. it just proves that we're all, like, something. Yeah. We're all a bunch of shit. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? I'm, like, 30 things. 